My name is Reva. I'm eight years old and I live in Surrey. Today I'm meeting Captain Ganesh Rai, who is a special kind of soldier in the British Army called a Gurkha. My father is also a Gurkha. Captain Ganesh works with him. Gurkhas are soldiers from a country called Nepal in South Asia and are best known for their courage and loyalty. The brigade of Gurkhas have fought with the British Army for the past 200 years. So, Captain Ganesh, why did you become a Gurkha? My father was my inspiration. He was a Gurkha and uh, he fought so many important battles in Second World War time. I can't remember that he was injured in one of the battles in Italy and he had to come back home after that. But he always talked about that, how proud he was to fight along with, with his friends in the British Army. Because of that, I wanted to follow my father's footsteps. I went to Hong Kong and start my training. My dream was to join the 7th Gurkha Rifle because that was my father's unit. When I was told that I was selected for joining the 7th Gurkha Rifle, I was really, really excited and really happy. Therefore, in 1992, January 1992, I passed the training and that's how I became a Gurkha. So, how did the Gurkhas start fighting with the British Army? About 200 years ago, India was controlled by Britain. In some occasions, Gurkha invaded India from Nepal because India and Nepal is next to each other. And for that reason, Britain declared war against Nepal. So both sides ended admiring each other about their fighting abilities and loyalty. So they think it is better to be friends than four. Ever since, Gorkha fought every war alongside with the British. 130,000 Gorkha soldiers fought during World War II. Many of them died and never returned home, but they demonstrated their bravery. Victoria Crosses is the highest honor that a British soldier can receive. And it is awarded to the soldiers that are really, really brave and 26 of them were won by Gurkha soldiers. So what was it like to move to the UK? Everything was different. UK was different country, different temperature, different weather, and the way of life was completely different. So it was really, really difficult at that time. Eventually, I started making friends, and I started feeling like home there as well. What's the most challenging thing about being a Gurkha? Well, Riva, um, I've done three tours in Afghanistan and it was really, really hard. It was hard because you had to be very on your toe always, because you had to be ready to attack if any enemy attack onto you. But by far that, the most challenging thing I ever experienced in my life as being Gurkha is being separated from my family. When I joined the Gurkha and leave uh, Nepal for Britain first time, I had married to my wife and we had a newborn baby. And I left my newborn baby girl when she was three months for three years. And I couldn't see them, my wife and my daughter, for three years. It was really, really challenging. In 11 years time after I joined, my family were able to come to UK and join me. What does being a Gurkha mean to you? I would say it's everything. Following my father's footsteps, is a really, really great experience in my life. And also, British Army and Gurkha has a special relationship. And I am really, really proud to be uh, part of that. Speaking with Captain Ganesh has made me realize how special Gurkha soldiers are and how hard they have worked to serve in the British Army. I feel very grateful that they are here, helping to keep us all safe.